So I thought we'd measure some things, kind of have fun with it. Um, we'll do a zero check. And right now we have uh, 21 femtoamps of offset. Okay. And we can say correcting. And uh, it should subtract that. Should subtract that off. So now we have uh, minus 10 fem yeah, between zero and minus 10 femtoamps, right? <laughs> That's pretty, pretty small. All right, so I have, um, I have a, a cable here and I've got uh, some wires so we can solder things on here and uh, see what happens to them. So I thought what we would do is uh, uh, probably the most famous thing everybody measures is an LED. Everybody goes, oh, well, you know, LEDs can be used as a, a photodiode. And yeah, they make really, really, really crappy photodiodes, but they do, they do work. So let's go ahead and uh, We'll just kind of solder this on. We'll just tack it on. And uh, okay, so we'll turn off our zero check. And then there we go. We've got to put it in the wrong way around. This thing will either measure positive or negative. It doesn't care. So anyway, it's 0.3 nanoamps. And if I take a, I take a flashlight, okay, and I shine a flashlight into my LED, uh, I can get up to 150 nanoamps. So yes, indeed, it can be a photodiode. All right. So I think everybody's seen that before and everybody's impressed that you can use your LEDs as a photodiode. I, I suggest just go buy some photodiodes. They're super, super cheap and they're way better, <laughs> way better. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put in a 1N, uh, 40, what is it, 1N4148? Is that the right, I think that's the right number. It's the 1N90, 1N914 equivalent. Uh, they don't make the 1N914s anymore. They, they're all these uh, uh, 41, 40, 40. I, I'm gonna get it wrong. So I'm gonna get a, um, get one out. I've got, I've obviously got a lot of them. Uh, and let me read the read the number off of it. Forty one, yeah, forty one forty eight. All right, so one in forty one forty eight, and uh, there we go. Like uh, when you're moving around, really you should do this in a box to get rid of all of the RF and everything else. So, um, but you can see here that um, I don't know. Let's do our zero check again. <coughs> now we're still zeroed. So there's something a little bit funny going on down there. All right, so. So you can see the, see the, uh, see the device down there. I'm going to shine a flashlight on it and look at that 0.2 nanoamps. Now this is, <laughs> this is a, a small signal switching diode, but it's in a glass package. Okay. And yes, indeed, you can get a, a quarter, quarter nanoamp out of these things. It makes you wonder why in the heck did they put them in a clear package? Well, when I was at Hewlett Packard, um, and you went to the stock room to buy a 1N914, they might have had them, but they had something else called a, oh, what was it? A 1920-0033, if I remember right. I remember the 033 for sure. It was an 0033. So HP put all their own numbers on everything. I think 1920 was diodes. And I think 003 was the small switching ones. And I swear it was just a 1N914 in a black glass uh, package. So it wouldn't do this. Uh, you couldn't get light into a black glass. But these clear ones do it. So obviously the clear ones are funny. All right. So I think that might be a surprise to some folks. Um, if you look at uh, transistors, they're always black right? Transistors will do the same thing. Uh, so they have to put them in black plastic. I've got some other diodes here. I've got some, um, I believe these are shot keys. Yeah, I've got bat 85s. So let me, let me get a bat 85. These are small switching shot key diodes. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of those. So let's solder one of those solder one of those in place. Yeah, so doesn't it make sense that you should always just use this black glass? I don't know. Those guys at HP are clever. I've yet to see another one. 
that it, it, you know for sale maybe you know comment below if you know if you can buy black uh, glass uh, one in nine fourteens uh, let's see here let's tack this on okay so this is oh look at that two nano amps so uh, shocky diodes are even worse and if I shine a flashlight on that look at that I can get 20 uh, 43 what was that 43 did it really go up to 43 that's uh, maybe because I moved my hand in front of it it might have picked up some some charge or something from my hand but yeah look at that it's worse right yeah yeah it's worse so again they're in glass black glass packages um these little these little glass guys here they're no good <laughs> well i mean a few nano well, what's a few nano amps among friends right yeah that kind of thing um yeah what else do i have what else do i have in my magic box here some other ones let's see. let's see i got some way down here let's see let's see what they're marked i may have some old 914s lying around i don't know this is a really old one it doesn't look the same as the others uh 32 is that a shocky i can't read the darn number on it too small i can't read the number Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I still have some. I still have some. Can you, can you see that? Black glass. Black glass. Let me, uh, yep, 33. It has a 33 on it. So this is, this is the diode that you could get. This is the diode that you could get in the HP stock room. 0033. Let's, uh. Let's make a liar out of me. See if, it, see if they're uh, sensitive to light or not. I've always assumed that's why they did it. I've always assumed. But you know what to say about assuming. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, Okay, there we go. All right, let's do our zero check here. See how we're doing on zero. Our zero is still good. Uh, and let's get our flashlight out. Okay, make a liar out of me. It's better, right? It's better, but it's still there. It still makes it through the black glass. All right, not as bad. Not as bad. Wow. Okay, well. I learned something today. I always thought these were going to be totally insensitive, but um, they do seem to be a little bit sensitive to light, even though they're in black, black glass. Let me, uh, let me see if I can take a real close photo of this so you can see it. Um, yeah, let me, yeah, let me take a picture here. So I took a picture of the black one and the two clear ones. So you can take a look at that. But anyway, yeah. Comment below about, about uh, black. Um, I think I mentioned this once back in the old days. And uh, people used, I believe there was a particular transistor that people would use as a photo transistor. And I also believe I heard something about people painting things black. And I don't remember what they painted black. Was it a diode or was it a transistor or whatever? But I remember them saying, oh, yeah, we had to paint those black. Um, anyway, uh, now that I have this cool machine, I can do things like this. Um, I have other machines that will do things like this, but this one's super speedy. I have an electrometer from Keithley, but it's super slow. And it'll make these measurements as well, but it's very slow. Um, whereas this one is quite speedy for what it's measuring. So, yeah, I really like it. All right, I forgot. I, I wanted to add one thing to uh, to our list here. I remember doing this before with the electrometer, but um, uh, this is a really cool demo. Okay, so um, I need to do our zero check, make sure we're okay. 
005. Let's go ahead and uh, do a correct again. Get rid of any little doubts. It disconnects the input and, and it does a complete measurement. And then uh, I go back to a measurement, okay? So I'm gonna shine light on this device and you can see here we're getting about, uh, oh, about what, a nanoamp? About a nanoamp out of this device? What device is that? Uh, what device is that? Can you see it? Where is it? Oh, yeah, it's right there. See it? It's a neon light bulb in any two. <laughs> neon light bulbs. <laughs> I think it's the photoelectric effect. Um, but I've been wrong before. I think it's the photoelectric effect that you're seeing. Uh, you're creating, uh, creating some carriers. Allows it to conduct a little bit. Two, uh, two nanoamps. There you go. Thank you.